With news this week that Michelle Obama has officially announced from her office that she will not be running for president in 2024, which doesn't rule out a future run, but still, either way, Democrats are really, really afraid of a Joe Biden loss in November. The fact of the matter is, though, I said it before and I'll say it again, Biden's not going to drop out. They don't have another option. It doesn't matter what they do, they're going to lose. The only way to save credibility is to keep Biden in the White House. But that does not stop the mainstream media from getting all up in arms about it. Democrats, this is from Fox News. Democrats urge Biden to see warning sign after voters abandoned him, not something that should be ignored. Biden ultimately won the Democratic presidential primary in Michigan, losing approximately 101,000 to a pro protest vote. And Minnesota did something similar to him. Democratic donors are urging President Biden to see recent presidential primary results like in Michigan, where more than 100,000 voters abandoned him and marked uncommitted on their ballots as a warning sign and a wake up call. These donors need to see which way the wind is blowing, and it is against the Democrat Party. They would be better off if they want to have any chance of Democrat control in the future, focusing on down ballot races and completely ignoring the presidential election this year. They're going to lose in November. They don't have any other option. They they should take the L, see if they can save their seats in other locations and try and come back in 2028. Uh, Regardless of how you dissect the specific math and historical comparisons, 2012-2016, of what happened in Michigan, 100,000 uncommitted Democratic voters must be seen as a wake-up call, wrote Way to Win, a national hub of progressive donors in a memo to its members and supporters. We can tell you that the energy behind uncommitted is not something that should be ignored, taken lightly, or dismissed. But if they do not push Joe Biden in this particular election, what are they going to do? They're going to lose all their credibility entirely. It's all going to be gone. Uh, It added, we should not try to argue ourselves out of the fact that Michigan is a major warning signal that something needs to change. That thing that needs to change is that the Democrats need to stop being communists or at least start being good communists. Um, And if you need to know what a good communist is, you can... Ask me on Twitter. Uh, In the Democratic presidential primary in Michigan, the state's Arab American population urged voters to abandon Biden and vote uncommitted on primary ballots in protest of Biden's support of Israel's war in Gaza. Biden won 81 percent of the state, losing approximately 101,000 to the protest vote. The thing is, Gaza is not indicative of the whole Democrat Party. The whole Democrat Party actually dislikes Joe Biden more than other uh, Democrats like John Fetterman, who unequivocally supports Israel. Fetterman is way, way above uh, Biden in polling in his district or his state. Fetterman supports Israel far more openly and vocally than Joe Biden does. It's not about Israel. I mean, in Michigan, yeah, it absolutely is. But in the rest of the country... It's about Joe Biden. In the memo, Way to Win, cautioned that 2024 was lining up to be a repeat of 2016, where then-candidate Hillary Clinton lost the Democratic primary to Bernie Sanders but felt the state uh, would still vote blue in the general election. It didn't, and Trump went on to win Michigan by just under 11,000 votes. It might be a whole lot more than that this time. And it's the economy, stupid. Michigan 2024 is not an anomaly, an anomaly, just as Michigan 2016 was not. The group wrote, adding that potential voters are hesitant to support Support Biden because they feel disenchanted, disaffected, and demobilized because Bidenomics is working as intended. The protest extended to Super Tuesday as well. Despite nearly sweeping every contest on Super Tuesday, Biden again saw a chunk of Democratic voters refuse to put his name down in states like Alabama, Colorado, Iowa, Massachusetts, Minnesota, North Carolina, and Tennessee. It's The economy, stupid. In North Carolina, the Biden campaign saw a whopping 88,000 voters, or nearly 13% of the total back, no preference. In Massachusetts, a sizable uh, 54,000 voters, or just under 10%, marked no preference. In Colorado, just over 43,000 voters, or roughly 8% of the vote, marked non-committed delegate on the ballot instead of putting down the president's name. In Tennessee, Alabama, and Iowa, Biden lost approximately 8%, 6%, and 4% respectively to uncommitted. In these states, The non-declared option was usually the second most chosen. Way to win added, uh, and beyond beyond our volunteers and activists, there is a real and present danger that too many voters are 
Uh, too many voters in close swing states who are fed up with the system will choose to either not vote at all, uh, vote but skip the presidential ballot, or vote for third-party presidential candidates. There's some polling that indicates that's true. We are seeing this everywhere in the data. Yes, yes, you are. The memo suggests Biden should directly address uh, conser- the concerns of those protesting him and change course on Gaza. No, don't do that. Um, elevate Vice President Kamala Harris on the campaign trail because she's extremely popular and emphasize the need for Democrats to go out and vote. I agree with them. They should actually do all of those things because then they would absolutely destroy their campaign. Way to win clearly doesn't know the way to win, and that's a good thing. Let me know what you think in the comments, then head over to my Locals page, thearthurnicks.locals.com, for exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Till next time, thanks for watching.